Now, having said that, inoculations have begun for the nation's biggest age group. It's the last step for authorities before achieving its targeted vaccination rate. To show what it's like on day one of the mass rollout, our OC Young lined up for the full experience. After six months of waiting, COVID-19 vaccinations for young and middle-aged adults in South Korea have begun. Vaccinations for the under 50s age group started Thursday and I was lucky enough to be able to book a slot on the very first day. Ah, no. After checking into the clinic, all I have to do is fill out a simple consent form and also some information about my health status before I get ready for the jab. Around 50 million South Koreans aged between 18 and 49 now qualify for the jab, and some 11 million who booked an appointment through the early reservation system will receive their first shot over the next five weeks. Well, here's 0.3 milligrams of Pfizer, and I'm ready to take a shot for Aeyang use. Dr. Chong Yumin delivers the shot and also some words of advice. Take at least three days to observe how you are physically, and if you feel any abnormal symptoms, please seek medical attention. You should avoid excessive exercise and alcohol consumption for a week. Well, after waiting 15 minutes to make sure that I don't have any immediate side effects, I'm ready to go home, but still wearing my mask and still following social distancing rules. So I'm just going to take this off now. Among infected patients aged 18 to 49, health authorities said Thursday that 92.7% were unvaccinated. But with inoculations gaining pace, the government expects to have 800,000 to 1 million people get the jab each day, with 70% of the 51 million people in the country having received their first vaccine shot before mid-September. It aims for full vaccination for over 70% of the population by the end of October. From then, the focus of K-quarantine is expected to shift from distancing to living with corona. Then we can make a coronavirus uh, weak enough, which cannot invade our the life too much. For doing that, uh, we can do some sort of restriction for the high infectivity people by isolation and our annual quarantine. Most experts say COVID-19 won't completely go away. But as our immunity grows and we learn to live with it, the coronavirus will no longer be novel, but normal in our lives. Oh Arirang News.